this year we have the five names in the finalists. So it's different from last year. We well decided to publish, publicize that the finalists. So which also showed that the only, of course, we were only one winner. But you know, intellectual work, philosophical work, it's difficult to say who is the most. But somebody were very interesting. All these people are great scholars. So that's the uh, the very important. Ono Onia is a great philosopher, and uh, she's not only a professional philosopher he, in that field. In her field, he was a great. But also, he also engage. She also engaged a lot of the public. The, the jobs, so you can clearly to see the connection and the interaction between his philosophical thinking and his own action. I mean, the in the social life and on the ethics, by ethics and all the human rights and so on and so forth. That's the uh, the, the solid work, deep thinking, normative ideas. All I think is uh, show her the the. Greatness, let's say. At the same time, we have some other the, the, the names here. Noam Chomsky, we know that he's a great linguist, but also he is a great activist, and his intellectual courage was broadly admired by many people not only inside of America, but also the whole world. So that's, I think, that's why he was nominated by people. And uh, like uh, Wei Ming Tu was a professor in the Chinese philosophy, especially for the Confucianism. He worked at Harvard, now in China. What he did was try to translate in between the Western philosophical thinking and the Chinese philosophy or the Chinese great, not only the philosophy, but also the great tradition. Because Confucianism, whether or not Confucianism as a philosophy is a, is a question, because the category of philosophy is only the modern thing for China. Without he and some other people's great effort, that it's for the Western world, it's difficult to understand the, the real thinking of the Confucianism in the Western uh, uh, the speaking world, I mean the language speaking world. So I think it's, uh, and also he, his, many of his early works were quite uh, creative and uh, very interesting. Not only this, he also was uh, very practical and active, working East Asia, Singapore, mainland China, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, and so on and so forth. He promoted this and engage in the civilizational dialogue. So he played the role as a kind of bridge between the two intellectual worlds. So that's, I think, that's why he was nominated. And uh, Emmanuel Castillas is also a very important figure. And I find his work is very important because the, his studies on urban, so urban studies the idea of information society, network society, and also the social movements and the globalization in the urban uh, developments. So that will give the huge uh, impact on the thinking about the contemporary reality that uh, for here and there. And he will obviously is one of the, uh, the scholars in contemporary world that was uh, most cited, the, the scholar not only in the West, in the West, but also like in China, Latin America, in Europe. So these are the, all the figures. And uh, uh, another, the Peter Singer, he also the combined ideas and activism with a lot of the followers and a huge impact in the social life. So all these people, I think, is uh, quite great I mean, thinkers.